the whole journey of a semester. Let's start from week one, which is going to start in different uni, starting on different week. Some are starting next week, some maybe after. When you start a semester, first week, some students skip it and you say, oh, they're going to be no important. They're just going to talk about it. And it's, it's a very important because it's very important to attend that uh, first lecture or introduction to lecture at the subject or a, where they're going to talk about unit plan. The unit plan, some call subject, some call unit, but in that session, which normally happens on in a big lecture theater where they talk about a few things, the learning outcomes, how many credit hours, will be having, if you don't know what's the credit hours, it's the number of hours they design for that subject per week. Okay. Shyam, can we stop that or not? Who's doing it? Are you doing it? Okay. So how many credit hours, is, if you're not uh, familiar with, I repeat that, Somebody designed that subject and that person is not a normal person. He's a PhD person and he designed this subject need 10 hours per semester, sorry, per week a student should spend on. On the other side, most of the students only calculate the hour they spend in the classroom like a lecture, okay, one hour lecture, two hour in tutorial, and one hour prac work, that's it. Okay, I need to spend four hours. They never look at it. this subject, averagely they are eight to eight, 10 hours per week. So where the six hours will be spent? That's I'm gonna touch on it, where you need to plan it. So when they say it's a 10 credit hour subject, you need to plan 10 hours. You need to schedule 10 hours at least. If you're good, if you're, you're struggling with the subject, you might need to add extra hours, which is overtime. The next is you need to know your bosses very, very well. But they're going to decide how many marks you're going to get. It depends how much you know them because it's like a, you know your subject, but you don't know how they mark your assessments. You need For that, you need to know how your boss think about the assessments. And the one important thing, which is... Um, to know your major deliverables. When I say deliverables, all your assessment items. It can be one marks per week, or it can be 10 marks, two assignments, or 15 marks, one assignment, and one project, 20 marks. They're all gonna tell in that, the, in that session. <clears throat> That's a very, very important. You need to have, they normally give a printed copy, I believe. But if you don't get printed off yourself, if they upload on their printer or highlight those things, if you too much used to the tablet, make sure these are the three things you need to know. How many credit hours? The email and address of the person who's going to be lecturer and tutorial, tutor and all that. And also on the side note, I was just looking at the, when you pick um, your timetable, try to get to the, obviously everybody wants to spend minimum days on, on on in the uni so they can have more time for jobs and other things to do in their life but make sure you have enough hours to fill up your though your credit hours and i tell you from experience whatever the credit hours they say students need a little bit more than that because they waste time here in the canteen and hanging out in the library and just here and there and the second most important thing your major deliverables and along that side, you need to sharpen your communication skills. I'm going to take, um, I'm going to uh, talk a little bit more about com communication skills afterwards, which is very, very important. 90% of the so problems in a work placement is solved with the communication. And the same thing in the uni. And I'll repeat these things again on different timing. The last thing I want to say, aim high makes you a leader. What does that mean? mean you need to plan ahead. This will save you, it's like 
10 minutes planning in the night will save you one hour start of your day. And people who are used to checklist and all those things, they know it, it makes sense. It's like you, you're going to buy something. If you make a list of what you want to buy, you spend less time in shopping. That's practical experience you have already.